managing my diabetic, but I can't manage my blood pressure because you guys wouldn't would, carry our back just threw medicine on the wall to see if they stick. Isn't the purpose of this facility to help rehabilitate? And isn't the purpose and why they're there is due to, quote unquote, a mental illness? So they're there for rehabilitation, supposedly. But yet you're clearly violating uh, his, I mean, if you guys are familiar with Title 42, the public health and welfare, you guys are violating a lot or you're at least stepping on the line. And it's very, very suspect hearing him speak and having worked with disabilities as long as I have and also understanding the American Disabilities Act pretty well. You guys are really, really flirting with disaster uh, for your facility, your jobs, and so on. Because this is abuse, it's neglect, and for whatever reason, I mean, it very, it, it's pretty clear that you could, it, one could assume that you're discriminating against him because of why he's in that facility. But the fact is this, he's not getting proper health care, and you guys are complicit in this problem. I, I, don't, I don't know why you, you're not expressing more compassion or care for this gentleman, because I've heard this story along with many more, and I actually have on videotape and an email uh, from other employees that work in these facilities that are basically supporting everything this gentleman's saying about what goes on. There's a lot of neglect. And you guys, I don't know what your official positions are, but you're really, uh, you guys aren't doing the right thing, and you're not doing right by him. And I'm not here to judge or condemn anyone, but you guys are flirting with disaster. And I don't know how well you know the laws, but you guys are breaking them. Josh would be more sensitive to that fact. Josh, yeah. for the lady that here, the, the nurse that's here, she's in charge of the medical at MSLP and St. Peter. She should know better. She should know better. Knowing that her own license is at risk. I didn't say her life, but her life. No, 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 no. Her license. At license. That's oh, what I said. I yeah. said license. It, it's, and it's going to be worse than that. It's going to be worse than that because all, everything that I've heard in this in this in the, like in this meeting today is so disturbing and troubling the, the, if, when the general public finds out what's happening there every one of you will be so ashamed of yourselves that you will not be able to look at your own children in the face if you have children like you are the, the oath that you guys sign or you declare or whatever the hell it is in your school when you get your credentials and you get your degrees you're supposed to be caring for patients. You are not caring for him. You're treating him like it's the scum of the earth. You're neglecting his medical care. I think we're and I can promise you, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to make sure the whole world knows about the shit you all are doing to people there. Like, what you're doing is wrong. And I have every bit of this recorded. Every bit of it. You know what? Actually, I can. And um, as I'm part of the media, and I have people that work in that facility that have already gone on record, and every bit of this is confirmed. So I want you to know, I just want you to know that what you're doing is wrong, and everyone's going to find out about it. Every single person is going to find out about what you're doing to torture these people. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Monica. You're welcome. They're shutting it down. Shocker. Yes, they should. Mm-hmm.